back to do the detail now. Um, let me get my brush I dropped it on the floor. We're still going to put some more green, uh, some green fronds up here. And I'm going to just actually use my chair to get the ones way at the top. We want some height on that, so. This is just on my living room wall. And uh, I change it out pretty regularly. If anybody wants to make suggestions of something to paint or you want to um, see a particular technique, you know, for painting, uh, I don't know, birds or anything, just send me a, an email or a comment or whatever. I'll try to keep an eye out for it. I get pretty busy with our, uh, our studios here in Tequesta. We have a, an artist co-op that we have over 80 artists showing. So that keeps me pretty busy and also painting murals. I go all over painting murals. So. Anyway, I'm just, you know, this is the monotonous work. This is the lots and lots of fronds. And with this, I use a little bit more water than I normally do uh, with the other stuff because you're needing to, to get that nice, smooth effect. When I was just laying down the base, it didn't really matter. That's, the base is so much faster. And uh, so anyway. I think I'll do some of those also, so while I can reach it. I'm using yellow and white mixed with my hunter green, which is my favorite color to use for the uh, for natural things and leaves and foliage. And I add different greens to it or make the green different actually. The more colors and variations that you use, the more natural it looks. Always remember that, never use a, nat or a single color. I always use mixes. Unless I'm doing something very graphic or animated, then you're wanting a different look. But when I'm trying to do something that's organic and natural, then there's never Never a, a real, you know, basic color. When you get the dark greens in here, just putting a nice light one on top of it really helps to uh, pop it. You'll see what I mean as they dry. Although we won't be able to do one that long, but... And in this orange and red that I put in here, I'm, uh, I'm uh, adding a, a little bit of highlighting as though it's the dead part of the tree and that would also be yellow and white mixed with some of the oranges so that you're just, I don't know if the camera can pick up this, but it may, gives a little interest. Sometimes I put coconuts or, you know, just depends. As Bob Ross would say, happy little coconuts. I think we'll have enough going on this one though today that we don't really need them. Look at that, some fabulous yellows. That is so yummy looking. Anyway, get some white up here to really highlight. Over here too. Oh, I forgot. I've got to get those greens on, huh? Okay. There we go. Something that I tend to do, and I, I try not to, is sometimes I won't make the fronds long enough, so I have to extend them. Um, because the fronds themselves, the big fronds, the large part, they're pretty long on our palm trees. We're here in Florida. So, um, and you can also 
any, anywhere you are in the country, pine trees, poplar trees, any kind of tree, always remember, don't use a perfect color. It'll be much more natural by not using perfect color. Okay. We're getting there. And this is just, this is where they all get sort of mixed up, so you aren't going to know what's one tree and what's another tree. You can define little places with the highlights, but uh, like this one's going to come across. Oh, and for this one, I'm just using one of those little cheapo square edge brushes like that. Pretty easy. I try to keep it pretty simple because I don't like to have a lot of equipment or anything with me. And the main thing is just learn how to use what you've got. And it's not about the brush, it's about you. got some construction going on next door. They're putting in new bathrooms. Lucky them. Okay, so we're almost done with that. This is the smaller palm, so I don't need as much um, going on here. Thank goodness, because those will drive you up a wall. There's that light again. That really gives, pops that whole thing. But this was one of the ones I didn't make long enough. Okay. Easy fix. Always remember also when you're doing something that has a lot of repetitive action, just let your wrist do the work of making, um, making variations. You don't want everything being perfect. Kind of makes this ugly old chair look better, actually. I was just thinking I wanted to recover it, but maybe having this in here will make it look better. <laughs> Although, I'm going to be doing a new mural, so I don't know if that one will go with it, right? Okay. I'm going to come back and maybe highlight that a little bit more. Now, I'm going to rinse my brush off just a quick bit and dry my brush on my pants. Okay, I'm going to put in some heavier highlights here. These are just little curved lines. Just to pop the trunk just a little bit more. You note I'm just going in various little spots, nothing perfect. Don't do it too symmetrical, it won't look right. Same with this one. There we go. Okay, now for these leaves, I'm just going to run line down the center and just a few little things in to give a little texture. See, it's yellow. Run it in. Same with this over here, right down the middle, down the side to clean it up. You could even put um, oranges in this if you wanted. In fact, maybe I'll do that with uh, um, some little sticks coming off the side just to 
have a decorative edge to it. I'm sorry I'm keeping my back to you so much. I'm just painting fast though because I can't, I have to break this into two uh, movies for the for YouTube as far as I understand it. Okay. You know, someday I've got to get better at knowing how to handle the whole YouTube part. How's that? Okay. Trevor gave up. He gets a little bored and he's lying right behind me. It's 15 now. He had some problems over Christmas, but he survived. These are just odd little leaves, just for filler. Okay. Now, how about some little orange and red sticks with some brown mixed in, you know? Okay. Just for some interest. Okay. There we go. A little brown on there. How about that? Okay? A little bit more. That has a little brown in it for a little interest. Okay? And we're all done. Well, maybe not. When I look up at that, it looks like it's a little odd. I think we need to get another one going that way. So, just get our green out. Okay. I should have brought in my, my uh, little, I have a little miniature ladder that I like to use. fell on the floor. Luckily I had a little piece of towel down there. <laughs> okay, that's all. How's that look? Good? Okay. Trevor says it's finished. See you next time.